Tonight on Be Seen, Be Heard Portland, the initiative we started in the past month to help you voice concerns about the city and to show you how the people in charge are working to change things. Now we heard from many of you that the conditions in downtown Portland have created a tough environment in which to live and work. Take a look. I don't like the homelessness. They don't like the trash that the homelessness leaves everywhere. People are like, oh, there's poop on the ground downtown. It's like, why, why do you think there's poop on the ground? They need way more services for the city that are like actually outside and available to everybody. Restrooms, trash cans. There's no reason for me to go downtown because it's, it's disgusting. And that's, you know, what we were built on. Downtown was thriving at one point, but now we don't recognize it. The roads are even dirtier and there's broken glass everywhere. So now she has to wear shoes when we go downtown. Um, where before I wouldn't have thought twice about it. I don't know if it's forgotten or there's no accountability. You can't have buildings closed down and plywooded because you're selling fentanyl outside of it. I mean, come on, man. You can't get away with that in any other place, can you? Well, tonight we're highlighting a new effort to clean up downtown. Fox 12's So Young Kim shows us the progress that was made today thanks to volunteers with Solve. Dozens of people came out to clean up the heart of the city here, one piece of glitter at a time. It's getting on. You got it. You got it. There we go. With each piece of litter removed from the streets of Portland, volunteers at Wednesday's cleanup say this is how they plan to take their city back. There's so many people talking about how, oh, I don't want to go downtown, it's yes. not safe. Volunteer Beatrice Yanazo says by showing up, everybody can play their part in tackling the issues. If every com community member does a little something, it's us all coming together. Volunteer Olivia Stone, who was born and raised in Portland, is confident every bit makes a difference. And helping to clean up and um, make the city as wonderful as I remember it being and I know it can be. With bright colored vests and cleanup supplies in hand, people headed out in groups from the Care Oregon office in downtown Portland, picking up litter for hours. Allison Orella, Vice President of Community Impact at CARE Oregon, says events like this will lead to meaningful change. There's a cumulative effect. Um, piles of trash will be collected. Uh, dozens, maybe even over 100 volunteers today. Chris Carrico, CEO of Solve, says it's a part of Solve's Portland Business District Cleanup in partnership with CARE Oregon and the Portland Rose Festival Foundation in preparation for the upcoming annual Rose Festival. We're dedicated to, to being part of the recovery and we want to show people that it's a safe place to be. People tell us they hope efforts like this one will help to clean up the city's reputation in the process. It's important that we as individuals show up for our communities because if we don't, then who does? Solve is a statewide nonprofit organization that trains volunteers to clean up and restore neighborhoods. In downtown Portland, So Young Kim, Fox 12 Oregon.